French officials do not believe that terrorists brought down a commercial jet in the French Alps. Investigators have started analyzing the plane's voice data recorder, hoping that it will reveal why the Airbus crashed Tuesday, killing 150 people. Tina Krauss has the latest from saint Leal, France. Recovery teams are searching for victims, including two Americans, across a 10-acre crash site in the French Alps. They say retrieving the bodies is their first priority, but it could take days because the plane came down in extremely steep terrain. Officials caution identifying victims will be difficult. This doctor said, you see the state of the plane, I'll let you imagine the state of the bodies. Investigators can only access the crash site from the air. They're leaving this staging area to search the debris field to try to figure out why the plane went down. The plane's cockpit voice recorder has been found. It's damaged, but investigators believe it will still be useful. One critical question is why the German wings jet stayed at a cruising altitude for only one minute before taking a steep eight minute descent with no distress call. We don't yet know what the first link in this causal chain of events was that started this crisis. 18 of the victims were from the same high school in the small German town of Haltern. The students and two teachers were flying home after an exchange trip to Spain. It's a very, very shocking situation. In Barcelona, a moment of silence was held at the airport where the Dune jet took off from Tuesday morning. 35 Spanish residents were among the victims. Tina Kraus, CBS News, saint les Alpes, France. And French President Francois Hollande and German Chancellor Angela Merkel visited the staging area earlier today.